Welcome to Speech Enhancement Course. In this video, we will see how the basic traditional spectral subtraction algorithm for speech enhancement is modified and how different spectral subtraction variation methods are developed. Those things we will discuss. See, what we are doing here is after getting the DFT coefficients, we are taking the modulus square here, that is nothing but the power here. And here from this noise estimation, we are getting the noise power. Right. So we are subtracting the noise power from the noisy plus speech power. We will get the only speech power here. But you require the speech magnitudes to convert the uh, I mean frequency domain to time domain. So again we are performing whole power 1 by 2 here. How this algorithm is modified in the next by the literatures uh, that is available in the literature is here why subtract directly the noise estimation if you subtract minus 1 into noise estimation you will get something if you subtract minus 1.5 into noise estimation, if you subtract minus 0.8 into noise estimation, that is, we are not just writing minus noise estimation, so minus some factor, some constant into noise estimation, so that the performance is analyzed by assuming the equation such that mod square minus some constant beta into noise power and that beta is calculated in some papers based upon the SNRs at that frame also. So like that the method is modified. What is the first modification is here rather than directly subtracting, subtracting 0.5 into noise estimation, 1.2 into noise estimation and that factor 1.2, 0.5 depends upon the S SNR. right? And the next thing here is why only here square you can use 4 here so mod 4 minus here also you will get noise estimation power 4 to subtract that one and here mod 1 by 4 here so that is we are calling this one as some parameter alpha here alpha is not always 2 if it is 2 it is spectral subtraction I mean power spectral subtraction alpha may be chosen based upon the SNR here So that's why here the different algorithms are developed by modifying the basic spectral subtraction algorithm by varying this power and also by varying minus some constant into noise estimation. Thank you.